Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Luigi and Guido, the Casadella Tire Shop owners. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Luigi and Guido are not only the townsfolk of Radiator Springs, but are also the main, two of the main characters of the Cars franchise. And before coming to Radiator Springs, they they used to work in a at a tire shop that was run and owned by Luigi's favorite uncle, Uncle Topolino, and they would fight over what Ferrari, and they used to fight over what Ferrari, and then they and they left Italy, leave by boat for North America, and then they. And they arrived in a in in New York City, and tried to find numer a Ferrari somewhere in North America, but to no avail. And then then they stumbled upon a road known as Route 66, and 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 stumbled upon and came to town, on and setting up their own tire shop, and and even stacked a group of tires known as Luigi. The, based off of the Leaning Tower of Tires, yes. and, and along with many other shops, their their tire store didn't have any any customers since the interstate had bypassed to save ten minutes of driving. And only, and their and back and in two thousand five, their tire shop was only to be to be back in business by a a race car named Lightning McQueen and they even became a part of Lightning's pit crew throughout the franchise and and Louis Luigi was voiced by Tony Shalhoub while Guido was voiced by Guido Quadroni only with an Italian accent. Only to, sp I mean, only to speak with Italian dialogue. Okay. And a few English words like pit stop and okay. okay. Which Luigi can translate what Guido is trying to say. Okay. And now, let's get right into the review. So first, we're going to take a look at Luigi. Here we've got his friendly facial expression and his Fiat logo, which is his mustache and his headlights and his black window sill and his side view mirrors and and on the top we have his black rat sunroof, which is his hair and on the sides we've got his silver lining and his white wall tires which his favorite type of tires is white wall tires and on the back we have his tail lights and his bumper and his license plate saying 445-108 and on the right side similar design so now we're going to take a look at Guido. Here we've got his friendly facial expression and his gray fork, forks or arms. And on the right side, we've got his light sea green in fender. And on the top, we have his aqua blue top. And on the back, we've got his air intake and his exhaust pipe underneath. And on the right side, similar design, but completely different. And that is it. So, Luigi is a 1959 Fiat 500, while Guido is a Alza Tuto forklift, which 
as a tutto means up everything in Italian. So now let's compare them to let's compare first Luigi to other Italian cars. Here we've got his uncle, Uncle Topolino, who is a 1937 Fiat 500 Topolino. We've got Carlo Maserati, who is a 2010 Maserati Quattrope V. And Michael Schumacher, who is a Ferrari F430. And then, finally, so let's compare Guido to other three-wheel pitties. We've got Sweet Tea and the Zen Master Pity. And that is it. So let's pull up some of the rest of the townies. Here we've got Sally, Radiator Springs Lightning McQueen, Mater, Sarge, Fillmore, Doc Hudson, Sheriff, Ramon, Flo, Lizzie, Stanley, Red, and Mac. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Italian car is your favorite? Which three-wheel pity is your favorite? And which Radiator Springs Townie is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And also, don't forget to leave any suggestions about which car of the past from the Cars Collection video, which is in the description, should I review next. I hope to see you all guys next time, so goodbye now!